In this video, we're going to talk about linear combinations. So we're going to get a little bit more notation heavy and into general concepts. So what is a linear combination? Given some vectors v1 through vp in the real numbers and scalars c1 through cp, we define a vector y as c1 times v1 plus c2 times v2 plus cp times vp. This is a linear combination with vectors v1 through vp with weights c1 through cp. So what does this look like? What's an example? Let's take y is equal to 3 times the vector a1 plus 2 times the vector a2. That is an example of a linear combination. Or perhaps in the previous video you might have seen this as y is equal to c times the vector u plus c times the vector v. So this is a, another way of a, saying a linear combination. But we just have a little bit more general variables saying okay it's up to p scalars and p vectors. So here's an example. We have the vector i which is 1 0 so this looks kind of like this. This is the unit vector in the x1 direction so we can call this the i plane and the j plane so that is i we have j going one towards this direction so we'll call this j and we're saying this vector t is equal to two times the vector i plus two times the vector j so let's take another i and let's take another j and where do we end up? Well, we end up at this point here. So t is this vector. This is t. And t is just a linear combination of i and j. So t looks like an arrow going up to the right. And we just made a combination of two unit vectors to get there. So what does 3t look like? Well, if we take t, we can just do two more t's and then we get this big vector which is 3t and what if we didn't want to call this 3t we could say okay well vector k is just equal to three times the vector t which in itself is just 6i plus 6j but we've used the linear combinations of i and j to get a vector k so k here is just the linear combination of vectors i and j. So that is what a linear combination is. So here's a question. We can ask if some vector b can be generated by a linear combination of a1 and a2. So this question is saying, okay, is it possible to get this vector, negative 7, negative 4, 3, by having some number of a's a1s and having some number of a2s. Well, we can solve this. So what we can do is we can put a1, a2, and b into a matrix. And we can say, okay, we have negative 1, 2, 5, negative 2, negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7, negative 4, 3, and we can solve for this. Why can we do this? Well, when we do this, we can multiply by x1 and x2, figure out values for x1 and x2, and we're good. But we're going to cover this more specifically in another video. So we want to see how many of the first row, or sorry, the first column, plus how many of the second column can get to the third column. So let's, let's just reduce this and we'll see what happens as we go. So let's multiply the first row by negative 1 because I don't like dealing with negative numbers. They're a little bit more confusing, a little bit more prone to make mistakes. And for the second row, we're going to take 2 minus the second row. So it's going to be the second row minus 2 of the first row. So we're going to have 2 minus 2 is 0. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Negative 4 minus 14 is negative 18. And then we're going to take the third row minus 5 of the first row. So 5 minus 5 is 0 negative 6 minus negative 10 is 4 and 3 minus negative 35 is 38 
believe I did that right. So adding five of the first row. So this should be negative 16 and this should be negative 32. Okay, so I believe now we are good. Okay, so now let's do some quick multiplication. So we have 1, 2, 7. Let's divide the second row by negative 9, so we're going to get 0, 1, 2. Let's divide the third row by negative 16, 0, 1, 2. We can eliminate the third row because the second row is an exact copy of it. So we get 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0. So now we get that x2 is equal to 2, and x1 is equal to 7 minus 2x2, which is just 7 minus 2 times 2 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3. So we've now solved this system. So here's what we're saying. We're saying that 3 times a1 plus 2 times a2 is equal to b. Well, why is this? Well, remember a linear combination b, so we have before our definition of y, is just x1 times a1 plus x2 times a2 all the way up to plus xp times ap. Well, here we just have our x1, a1, plus x2, a2 is equal to our vector b. So 3 of the first vector plus 2 of the second vector makes b. Let's check to see if this is true. Okay, so let's take 3a1. So this will be 3 times negative 1, 2, 5, plus 2 times negative 2, negative 5, negative 6, and this should equal negative 7, negative 4, 3. Okay, so this is going to be negative 3, 6, 15, plus negative 4, negative 10, negative 12. So negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7, 6 minus 10 is negative 4, 15 minus 12 is 3, so there we go, there is our solution. So B can be generated as a linear combination of A1 and A2. So if we only have vectors A1 and A2 in our system, we can make vector b. So here's a vector equation. x1a1 plus x2a2 all the way up to xnan equals b. This has the same solution set as the linear system whose augmented matrix is a1 through an and b. So this is the exact same thing as we did in the previous one. We said is a1 plus a2, can this linear combination generate b? So we solve the matrix and we found out that yes, it can. So when I say these vectors a1 in the system, what I really mean is we have, okay, we have this a11 all the way down to a m1. So that's the first line. Then we have a12 all the way down to a m2. And then we have b1 all the way down to bm. So this is just short form for the whole vector. So these two are exactly the same. So with this, we were able to solve the question and figure out that B was a linear combination of A1 and A2. So again, let's do this again. We want to find if B is a linear combination of A1, A2, and A3. So we're going to stick these all into a matrix. I'm going to use a different color. So in the one, negative 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 5, negative 6, 8. Do these generate 2, negative 1, 6? So what we can do is we can look at it and figure it out in our heads if we want to. We can say, well, it looks like if we take 1 of a3 and we subtract 3 of a1 and do something with a2, maybe we can get it, but probably best to solve it. So let's keep row one the same, we're going to divide row 3 by 2 because it looks a little bit messy. And let's take a look at row 2 here. So we want to add 2 of row 1. So we're going to get 0, 1, 4. We're going to add 2 of row 1, 3. Oh, look at this. Our second and third rows 
are exactly the same. So we can look at this and we can just delete the third row. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have this system with a free variable in it. So this says that x1 plus 5x3 is equal to 2 and x2 plus 4x3 is equal to 3. So again, we have this solution set. x1 is equal to 2 minus 5x3 x2 is equal to 3 minus 4x3, and x3 is free. So this is a solution set. So yeah, b can be generated with x1, x2, and x3. We have to give a certain value for x3 so we can find one solution. We can say, okay, suppose x3 is equal to 0, then that means that x2 is equal to 3, and x1 is equal to 2. So now we can say that yeah, so 2a1 plus 3 of a2 will give you b. So that's one solution. Then we can pick x3 is equal to 1 and we can get a different solution. So there's many different ways we can use x1, x2, and x3, or sorry, we can use a1, a2, and a3 to get the vector b. In fact, in this first, if we pick x3 is equal to 0, we don't even need x1 and x2. I mean, we don't even need a3 at all. We can just use a1 and a2. So here's some true or false questions, just to make sure that we understand what linear combinations are and how we work with vectors. First one, another notation for the vector 2, 1 in a column is 2, 1 in a row. And we know this is false because a column vector is in a column. This matrix 2, 1 is two vectors. So it's a one dimensional vector, so it looks like this. And then we have the second vector looks like this. In the first example here, the column vector 2, 1 looks like that. A linear combination of v1 and v2 is 1 half v1. This is true. Remember, a linear combination is just a scalar times a vector. So what we can do is we can set y is equal to 1 half v1 plus 0 v2. That is a linear combination of vectors v1 and v2. So this is true. Third one, the column vector 2, 1, 3 is a vector in R2. So this means that we can represent this vector in a two-dimensional plane. And that is false, because this has three entries in it. One, two, three entries. So that means that we need three dimensions to represent this vector, because it corresponds to the points 2, 1, 3. So we can go 2 over, we can go 1 up, and we're saying, okay, I have to come 3 out of the page? I can't, I can't do that in two dimensions. So that is linear combinations. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. This video helps you please share it because it would be awesome for me and it would help your friends out.